worked out for about two to three minutes. If I was in New Orleans or New Orleans, and I really wanted to make a nice... What, what is it? <sighs> Dad, can you turn off the cooking? Almost like deep, deep, deep brown. You're actually cooking down, sometimes oil, sometimes butter. But here, I want to take it fully off the heat. So, a lot of times, people say... Hold on. Hold on, refresh. Am I live? Hey, what's up, Globe? What is up, Globe? Oh my god. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out how to do a bleshamel. What's up, Glove? What have what have been up? To, uh, how are you, are you gonna do? What are you gonna do for Thanksgiving? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's supposed to look like that. Oh, I didn't know that. A cup of butter, 80 grams, same amount, 80 melted. And only when it's melted, then I add, all at once, same amount of flour. So this is a third of a cup of oh. butter, 80 grams, same amount, 80 mil flour. Oh, whoops. I'm supposed to do that. This is what's called a roux. Oh. <laughs> Over medium heat, I've worked this just to cook out the flour a little bit. Yeah, definitely get an iPad. It's really useful. Flour is cooked out for about two to three minutes. If I was in New Orleans or New Orleans, and I really wanted to make a nice, thick, dark uh, roux, what they do is keep cooking it down until it's almost like deep, deep, deep brown. You're actually cooking down sometimes oil sometimes butter but here i want to take it fully off the heat so a lot of times people say add the milk little by little but really the key is turn it off the heat at this point completely before you even start adding the milk i don't remember uh chris i don't remember how many inches and i go to a whisk just the first amount of milk is going to go in okay Okay. This is kind of complicated. This is a bechamel. Seems, seems kind of compli complicated to make. The first amount of milk is gonna go in. Man, I don't know how to make a bechamel. And I stir that. Hey, what's up, Screaming? I do need Food Network flow. Alright, so she adds a little bit of milk first and then adds the rest of the milk. Just got back for an inside scoop about the new Batman game. Oh, nice, Screaming. What's the new Batman game? I'm trying to figure out how to make a bechamel right now. The battery's pretty long, uh, Chris. It's really nice. I definitely recommend getting an iPad. Oh, this lady's really making nutmeg. Damn, dude. She's like, she's like pro. Speculations are that it will be revealed during the VGA's air 
earth for maybe some time to drop before or after. But press circulation is going going on is that the WB is preparing media packages and stuff for multiple for multiple sources. Oh, I see. The game will be called Arkham Arkham Legacy apparently. Nice. Okay, lady. This lady knows what she's doing. She knows. She knows what the fuck she's doing. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, lady, mine's not looking good. You see, you see, you. Hey, lady, why don't you come over and help me make this bechamel? Lady, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Help me make a bechamel. <laughs> no, don't end the video. Come over and help me. I need your help, lady. Rexon was diagnosed with cholerae plexus carcinoma, a brain tumor. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna have to figure this out. I need to figure out how to make a bechamel. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, honestly. So, okay, let's try this again. Oh, God. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, let's read the steps ahead of time. Let's do that. Instead of, like, doing this all, like, random and shit. Okay. Alright, so... We got the... Okay. Alright, so... The yeah, ass scheming. I'm glad... So it's gonna be, like, a sequel to those Arkham games, right? Scheming? Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so bechamel sauce is one of the oldest sauces in the world. Is it? Do you know how to do a bechamel sauce scheming? It's it seems hard. I don't think I know what I'm doing scheming. I'm getting pretty far though. Look, 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 look. I'm getting pretty far. Look, I made my own like um uh, um my own garlic infused olive oil, and then I have my own garlic paste. Ooh, fancy, right? Uh, I think so. Not sure if it's a sequel to Arkham Origins or not. Oh, no. If my dad was still alive, then yeah, I could ask him. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so let's try to make the bechamel sauce again. All right. In a large pot, melt the remaining two teaspoons of butter from over medium-high heat. Add the flour. And whisk for two minutes. So I need how much flour again? Uh, let's see, two tablespoons of, two tablespoons all-purpose flour. Until the roux is golden brown. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to that lady. I'm not gonna listen to the stupid, uh... To the stupid uh, video. I mean, stupid d uh, recipe. Because the recipe doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. I think the lady knows what she's talking about. So, let me go make sure the noodles are, like, still, like, not sticking together. Let's see. Okay. Alright. Let me go ahead and, oh yeah, let me clean the, clean the. Spoon, too, ladle too. Let me clean the ladle. <sighs> Man, this is so stressful. I don't know how to do, make a stupid bechamel. I need Gordon Ramsay. 
Crap. I need Gordon Ramsay to come over here. I need Gordon Ramsay to come over and help me make a fucking bechamel. I feel like he knows how to make a bechamel. Hold on. Oh, so mostly they were talking on stream about the concept art, the, uh, art that was revealed for the canceled Batman game, and we didn't see all of them. Are you? Do you own all the Arkham games, uh, Scheming? Two minutes until the roux is golden brown. Add the white cheddar. Gruyere. Oh, shit. Add the milk. Remaining... Okay. Remaining teaspoon of salt. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, let me get the salt ready. Okay. Let me get the milk. Shit. Oh, poor coffee. He needs help. I do need help, Globe. All the main games, yes. Uh, let's see. Add the milk. Remaining teaspoon of salt. The pepper, okay, I need to get pepper. Mm. Mm, this is so, call, oh, this is so um, complicated. Okay. Mm. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's get all, let's get the ingredients together first. Let's get them together first. Maybe they'll make it they'll make it a lot simpler. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this is a clean spoon. And actually, not it's not clean. It feels dirty as fuck. Let's get a clean spoon, a tablespoon. So this will, this looks like a tablespoon, right? Okay. All right. So, uh, let's place it right here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Okay. And the white... Okay, milk, nutmeg, and cayenne. Okay, cayenne, cayenne. Here we go. Okay. Then milk. How much milk do I need? I am so far. I'm getting. I'm making so much progress. Let me go clean this up. I need help, guys. Help me. I'm still feeling olive oil in here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so. Okay, okay, okay. This piece of paper is so dirty by now. Um, milk. Two cups of whole milk. Okay. I need two cups whole milk. You should have seen me scheming. I like I was like making like breadcrumbs and shit. Look at my breadcrumbs. It looks so pro. They look so they look so professional. Look at those breadcrumbs. Don't they look like pro pro breadcrumbs? Okay, let's see. Let's get the milk. You you call them breadcrumbs, but all I see is our toast sprinkles. Oh my god. <laughs> These don't look like breadcrumbs to you. Let me give you a closer look. 
Let's see. Can uh, am I is the stream going to Yeah. Hold on, let me go down a little bit. Oh, am I looking the right way? No, I'm not looking the right way. Yeah, let's look at those breadcrumbs. Toast sprinkles. Don't you mean bird food? Shut up, shut up, scheming. Let me add a little bit more. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Cause you never know. If you, cause like I feel like that lady in the video, she was saying that she they would have liked more sauce. So I'm gonna give, give more sauce. You know what? Maybe I should add more butter. I'll add more sauce. I'll add more butter. So let's use this remaining butter too. Hmm, let's not use this butter. Let's get this butter too. Don't you mean- oh yeah, yeah, I read that. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting so far. I'm making so much progress. I'm surprised you, can, you guys can understand what I'm saying. I'm surprised you guys can understand what I'm saying. Mm. Okay. Alright, so... Okay, got the milk. I'll add a little bit more. Okay, how much do I need for nutmeg? Fourth a teaspoon of no ground nutmeg. Fourth a teaspoon of ground cayenne. I don't have a teaspoon. Who the fuck has a teaspoon these days? I guess I have to guess. I have to guess how much a teaspoon is. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't really matter because... Uh, food, uh, f food, making food is not, ex not an exact science anyway, right? It's not an exact science. Okay, so I'll have to figure out how to make the bechamel. Hmm. Okay. Medium high heat. How, well, how can you tell what medium high heat is? Let me look at that video with that lady again. I always like to go with just a third of a cup of butter, 80 grams. Okay. Amount, 80 okay. She does use a, la use a ladle. Yeah, she does use a ladle. All right, no problem, scheming. Okay, looks like the butter isn't like scorching. Okay, so it looks like the butter's not scorching. Like I, so I fucked up last time by making the butter really scorchy. Okay, so that lady, okay, she's helpful. She's very helpful. I didn't know what I was doing last time, but now I do. Now I do. So let's go ahead and let's not use the uh, whisk yet. Let's place it over there. And then, let's see, okay, let's do the bechamel. Okay, uh, okay, let me think. 
I'm gonna get two tablespoons of butter. Oh, no, 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 no. Three tablespoons of butter, just to play it safe. And then I'm going to get like maybe two and a half tablespoons of flour. I want to get, add a little bit more so I can add more sauce. Um, let's see. Two cups of milk, whole milk. Okay, I added a little bit more than just two cups because I want more sauce. Hopefully that'll work. And then, uh, hmm, remaining teaspoon of salt, uh, the pepper, nutmeg, cayenne, cook, whisking constantly for 8 to 10 minutes until the bechamel is thick and creamy. 8 to 10 minutes? Fuck. Add the white cheddar gruyere and Fontana cheeses. Yep, I got those. And stir until melted, about one minute. Okay, okay, okay. Um, add the kawatapi and mix the sauce until smooth and glossy and the pasta is well coated. Add three teaspoons of the mashed garlic confit. Okay. And stir to incorporate. Okay. So, let me think. I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing this right. Oh man, is there more to this? Oh no, there's more. This, these are all the steps. These are all the steps. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this is making me stressed out. I feel like I don't know what, it, what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, 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 okay. So, transfer the pasta to the prepared baking dish and spread it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add the kava tape and mix the sauce smooth. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're not going to bake this today. We're going to bake this tomorrow. So I'm just making it so that we add this all in the, in the, in the uh, baking dish. But we're not going to bake it today. We're just going to do it tomorrow. I'll refrigerate it and then bake it tomorrow. I'm sure it's going to come out fine anyway. But we're not going to add the breadcrumbs, obviously, because the breadcrumbs are going to get soggy uh, tonight. So that's why I'm not, I'm not making the breadcrumb sauce yet. I'm just going to leave that out. Until I'm not gonna make it until tomorrow whenever I'm ready for baking. So that's why I'm not making that breadcrumb sauce that's in the recipe. Welcome back, uh, scheming. What I was saying earlier is that I'm not making that breadcrumb sauce yet because if I make it now, if I if I make it now and I add it onto the casserole before I even before I even bake it and leave it in refrigerate overnight, that breadcrumb sauce is gonna get soggy, and the bread yeah the breadcrumbs are gonna get soggy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to make it tomorrow when I'm going to bake this tomorrow. Right now I'm just making it so that the casserole's, you know, cooked and ready for baking. So I'm not going to do it yet. Let's see. All right. So I think I'm going to be ready. I think I'm more ready this time. Okay, let's get the flour ready. Is it for the mac and cheese casserole? Yes, this is the mac and, roll, mac and cheese casserole scheming. This is so this is so stressful. I don't want to fuck up. But now that I saw the lady make the make the um, bechamel, then I'm a little bit more confident now. Two tablespoons. Okay, so guys, 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 does this look like a tablespoon to you? Does this look like a tablespoon to you? I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Let me see for you. There you go. Is that a tablespoon? I don't. I don't know what a tablespoon is. Look. I mean. I. I assume that this is the tablespoon, right? Spoon. No, it's not the tick. Okay. Yeah, Alton Brown has some good recipes for sure. Is that a tablespoon, guys? Yeah, that's a tablespoon. Okay, good. Good mac and cheese is more complicated. My suggestion, look for Alton Brown's recipes. Yeah. For sure. And guys, if you haven't, for those of you who came in, if you haven't joined my Discord yet, here's my Discord link. 
I stream, so I don't, I'm not normally a, uh, a, uh, cooking streamer. I actually stream, uh, survival horror games, JRPGs, action adventure games, Nintendo games, and, uh, puzzle games. So if you like what you see, go and give me a follow. But I want to incorporate more, uh, food streams in the future so I can get better at cooking. So, yeah, this is my second stream so far into cooking, so... I stream other kinds of video games, so we'll we'll see if we can add more cooking streams in the future, guys. I it, I can't believe you knew my tick references. Tick reference, of course. We're about the same age. I knew about the cartoon. Okay, so medium high heat. I made. I think I made it too hot. So I'm gonna go. There. Maybe I'll make it, like, really low. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this again. Okay, we're not gonna fuck up this time. I'm gonna use three tablespoons instead. And I'm gonna use the spoon, the ladle. I'm not gonna use the fucking whisk yet. I'm gonna use the ladle. Fuck the recipe. Fuck what it, that, fuck that's telling me to use a fucking whisk. I'm not using a fucking whisk. I'm using the fucking ladle for, for now. Then I'll use the whisk later. Yeah, fuck this recipe. I don't know how to make no fucking beshe mouth. Keep, stop, like, stop assuming that I know how to make this and that. They act, they act like I'm supposed to be a pro chef for, and, and make all this shit. I guess this is more like a pro chef recipe. Or more like a, a, a prof like a experienced cook recipe. So, I'm doing a big boy recipe right now, guys. This is a mac and cheese casserole. This is a big boy recipe. This ain't no, like, little boy recipe. This is a big boy recipe. Okay, this melt it's melted for the most part. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the stupid um uh, tablespoons. So I think it's asking for two tablespoons of flour. Uh, I'll put in two three tablespoons or something. So two minutes. Okay. So I'm supposed to whisk it. So the roux is golden brown. Okay, it's already golden brown. So. Okay, I'm gonna whisk it, start whisking it now. guys look at me I'm a pro chef okay 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 that's good that's good that's good all right so um all right uh, uh add the milk okay 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 add the milk oh but then I have to follow what that lady's doing I add the milk but then like I whisk I start whisking so don't add all the milk in. Okay. Look at me guys, I'm, I'm a cook. 
Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you you are trying to make a room. What else is in the castle? Any meats? No meats. All right. So, um, remaining teaspoon of salt. Okay, I need a teaspoon of salt. Okay. I'm assuming this is a teaspoon. Mm. Okay. And then... The pepper... Half a tea... Uh... Three-fourths teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Half a teaspoon... Oh my god. I'll just... Whatever. Hey, the roux's coming out pretty well. Oh, wow! Is this the roux? Oh, wow. Uh, let me add the rest of the milk. Let's see. Okay, so... Uh... Whatever, that looks like a teaspoon to me. And then... Oh, wolf. Oh, shit! <laughs> Okay, that looks like a teaspoon, too. Alright, so... Uh, shit, I gotta hurry up. Did I add the pepper yet? Shit. Um, let's see. No, I didn't add the te pepper. How much pepper do I need? Hmm... Uh. One teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Okay. Mmm. That looks like a teaspoon. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's see. Okay, so I have to whisk this for about ten, 8 to 10 minutes. So, you remind me, guys, at 10.35 or 11.35, whatever time zone you're in, remind me to stop whisking. Pop the top off and dip the spoon inside if you want a teaspoon. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Medium high heat. Let's see, medium high heat. That looks like medium high heat. Let's go the other way. Hold on. <sighs> Shit. Too late. Okay. Ten thirty five, guys.
Hmm. That looks like medium high heat, right? Let's take a look. So guys, does this look like medium high heat to you? Hold on. Uh, let me try to make sure that you can see. Making high heat, we don't have like a 7 from 1 to 10. Hmm. Okay, there you go. You're right. Wow, wow, Skinny, you should come over and help me. Well, we use globe, but how well do you cook? Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this, guys. The, the bechamel is getting thicker. Wow, oh my god, I'm a cook. Oh my god, I'm a chef. Look at me, guys. I'm a chef. It's getting thicker. Uh, do you think you hired me for my fart jokes? No. Of course I'm right. I am a mod. <laughs> yes, I trust you, scheming. I just cook simple stuff, nothing complicated. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this look this is getting thick, guys. Let me see if I can Oh my god, it's getting thicker. It's getting thicker thick and it's got it's kinda getting creamy too. It's because the it's because the milk's evaporating. The water from the milk is evaporating, that's why. Oh my god, it's getting thicker. Wow, this is so cool! Oh yeah. Thick. <laughs> it is getting thick. You and your bearded dragon emotes. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I am so proud of myself. So eight to ten minutes. So we're getting to the eight minute mark. So Let's see. Um, add the white cheddar, gruyere, and fontina cheeses and stir until melted about one minute. Add, uh, add the milk, remaining teaspoon of salt, the pepper, nutmeg, and cayenne. Cook, whisking consistently for about 8 to 10 minutes until the bechamel is thick and creamy. In a, a large pot, add the remaining 2 tablespoons of um, butter over the medium-high heat. Add the flour and whisk for 2 minutes until the roux is golden brown, which I did. Okay. 
We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Oh my god, it's rich. It's thick and creamy. Look at this. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's working. It's getting thick and creamy. Ooh, look at me. Pro Chef Coffee. Oh shit, it's getting thick. I like it. I like them thick. I'm making progress. Uh, let's go ahead and just turn this down a bit. So basically, the reason why we're doing this for 8 to 10 minutes is because the milk is naturally creamy, right? But when we evaporate the water, that's when we leave all the cream from the milk, right? That's what I'm assuming, right? We're trying to evaporate the water, right? Yeah, I, I figured. Oh my god, this looks so amazing. This looks amazing, guys. Okay, it's 1035, but I'll give it another couple minutes because I, I did add a lot of milk. Well, not a lot of milk, but a lot more milk. So I'll give it another minute at least. Give it another couple minutes. Okay, does this look thick enough, guys? Uh oh. Oh shit. Let me. Does this look thick enough, guys? I think it looks thick. Yeah, okay. Alright, so... What now? Add the white... The white cheddar, Gruyere, and Fontina cheeses, and stir until melted about one minute. Okay. Okay, right, let's go add this. Here's the Gruyere cheese. Wow, this looks so cool. Mmm, I can smell the cheese too. I'm not gonna add all the cheese at once because it's gonna make it really all dumpy and shit. So I'm gonna add the cheese a little bit at a time. Wow, it's thickening. This is so cool. Wow.
Okay, let's see. I'll add the rest in. This is so nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is a, like a pro. This is such a pro like looking um uh, Cheese, mac and cheese sauce. Okay. Mm, next is gonna be the, um... Ooh, shit, that's not it. Uh-uh-uh. So the Gruyere, fun, uh, white cheddar and Fontina. Next is gonna be the white cheddar. So white cheddar. And then more white cheddar. Oh shit, the cheese got stuck. Oh crap. Crap, crap, crap. Crap. Get the cheese out. Ah shit. Okay, got it. And then let me add the rest of the cheese in. Ah! Shit! 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 Ah! Ah! Fuck! My hand! Oh! My finger! Shit! Oh! Shit! 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 Let me lick it off. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. Where's my mitten? Okay. The last cheese is the Fontina cheese. And this, this Fontina cheese is pretty good. Uh, this Fontina cheese is pretty good. Hold on, let me get it out. Shit. It's really gooey. Of the cheese. Hmm. 
Oh, crap. Hold on. Mmm. Okay. This looks pretty pro. Okay. Add the cup of toffee into the mix. The mix of sauce is smooth and glossy. And the sauce is well coated. Add three teaspoons of mashed garlic confit and stir to incorporate. Okay. Okay, let's get the cava toffee. One fell in, but it'll, I'll get it. Let's see. Ooh, this is nice. Oh my God, this looks so nice. It does. Oh my god, it sounds just like the video with, with the lady st uh, stirring the the cup of toffee into the into the into the sauce. It sounds all gloop glo like all gloopy and shit. Oh my god, it sounds just like the video. I must be doing something right. Okay, three teaspoons of, um, I don't know how much a teaspoon is. That looks like a teaspoon. Mm, that looks a teaspoon. And then this looks like a teaspoon. Okay, that looks like a teaspoon.
Ah, shit. Hmm. I don't know if mine coming out like hers. I don't know. I don't know if mine's coming out like hers. Hmm. Maybe I should add some more milk. I don't know. Is it too late to add milk? Oh no. Shit. Maybe if I add milk, it'll look what. Ah, shit. Hold on. You don't want to make it too runny. Oh, I see. <laughs> Let's hope it makes it work. Oh man. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have added too much cheese. I don't know. Until it's like what? Until it's smooth and glossy. And the pasta is well coated. It just doesn't look like it to me. Shit. I don't know. I think I fucked up. Let me add some more milk. Shit. I don't know. This is not coming out good. <sighs> Shit. This is not coming out the way I wanted it to. Shit. <sighs> hmm. Okay, what else? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. So, I'll go ahead and just put this on and hope for the best. Oh, man. 
I added too much cheese. Maybe that's the reason why. See? I don't think it's looking the way I want it to. What do you guys think? I thought like adding more cheese would be okay. Oh man. What did you say? That's a little thick, so what? You don't want to make it too runny. Like, did you want something creamier? Like, more liquidy? Yeah! I wanted something more liquidy. But, I mean... Do you think it's going to taste okay? Because I like, did. It, I followed the recipe almost exactly. I mean, I added a little bit more milk. added a little bit more flour. I added a little bit more butter. I added a little bit more cheese than necessary. So, I wanted it to be more creamy. I mean, it looks okay. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope it tastes uh, good tomorrow. I mean, I didn't... It, sh I mean, it should... I mean, it should crisp up better. You're right, because this is actually... I haven't baked it yet. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll... It'll, it'll taste better whenever, uh, or look better after I bake it tomorrow. So I'm just going to leave this in the refrigerator. Maybe, it, maybe it's not supposed to, maybe this is not the final product. Maybe this is just, you know, like even though I cooked it, it's not supposed to look like this, right? So maybe I'm just going to like, maybe after baking it, it'll look like it's supposed to, right? Hopefully, hopefully. I hope so. Let's take a look at it. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. You're right, it doesn't look too bad. Because, like, I mean, I, fall, I use the exact same cheeses, except I add a little bit more. What's going to be the difference, you know? I hope it's going to be, it's going to turn out okay. So, yeah, it's 10.56, so I'm, I'm pretty tired by now. I gotta go to sleep, um, but it's been quite an experience trying to <laughs> bake this, or trying to cook this uh, mac and cheese casserole. Let's hope for the best that it tastes good tomorrow after I bake it. So, all right, guys. Oh, I'm pretty tired. I think it's time. I'm, I'm done with the cooking part of the casserole. So that's going to be the end of this casserole stream. Thanks for coming by, everyone. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming by, Scheming, and Glove, and who else? Who else is here? I won't, I won't call out Lurkers, as usual. Uh, let's see, so Scheming, Glove, uh, let's see, Brianna, Chris, Skywise. Thank you so much for coming by, everyone. It's been a great stream. And, uh, yeah, thank you for coming by. Let's go ahead and raid someone. So let's do a coffee roast raid. Let's see. Thanks for coming by. Hope I didn't forget anyone. Alright, coffee roast raid. Who are we going to raid tonight? Let me take a look. Let's see. All right, so I think we'll raid. Who should I raid? Uh, Granny Dearest. She's streaming Red Dead Redemption. So raid Granny Dearest. All right, guys. She's a really cool streamer. Thanks for coming by, guys. You have a great rest of your night. And we'll see if I stream tomorrow night. Probably not because it's Thanksgiving. Probably maybe Friday night. I'll go back to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. So 
I appreciate you guys coming by. You have a great rest of your night, and take care. Bye.